go. We started off the day by going to play basketball. We went to the centre at Warwick and then Marabooka. Both were closed. So we ended up down at uh, Butterworth Park in Kundula. Turns out it was good because it was a children's area there they could play at. So we started off with a bit of two versus two, switched the teams around, so we played three games of that, and we finished it off with a final game of Five Alive. Now we didn't get too much on camera, but we did get the end of the Five Alive on camera here. And if you don't know how that's played, basically every player has five points. You shoot free throws, if you miss you go in the middle, and then the next person comes up and has a free throw, if they get it, the person in the middle loses a point. If they miss, then they both play one on one to see who loses the point. The winner goes to the back of the line, the other person stays in the middle. Now you keep going like that until one person gets down to zero. They'll get a final free throw to try and get one point back. And if they miss, they're completely knocked out. And you're down to three players, two players, and then the winner. So we're down at the... Yeah, there is. Ah, oh, man. It's the ocean, the harbour. Just having dinner here. Riaz was having a good run around. You want to come or is he eating? Come, run. No? Okay. First time he's ever run off on his own. Uh, so that was good. Came all the way out here on the grass. So we had to run after him. So the little beach down there. We didn't get time to go down there, probably won't. Just swimming in the pool a few times. And packed full of restaurants. They got children's ride and there's a train there which Danny's children went on and that's about it ah, bouncy castle yeah so our last night in the um, accommodation here been here a week already and 
might say one more day in Perth so we can see a few things and then we're off to Geraldton. These run all the way over here. Mm -hmm. Ah, hey, what are you doing here? Hello? Here we go, first one. in front of Maya. That is the dead centre where the information office is. So yeah, just started the Christmas lights tour now. A little bit dodgy at night, but so far okay. Uh, we've just seen a few so far, so yeah, we're going. <laughs> This is London Court. Fancy design. So what's the time? Hello. Almost 10 p.m. 39. 9.39 and Buddy's awake. Hey Buddy. Hello. Bye bye. Bye bye. He's awake. That's why we took two prams. Sleeping pram and a wake pram. There we go. Yeah. Everywhere we go, yeah? A lot of Indians. I love Perth. <sighs> so back in the car park. Casey, we made it. Not yet. Let's wait till Sunday. What's happening here? Casey, tell us about the parts of Perth that we just went through. Um, Some of the dodgiest. Going into the city at night time like that. I don't think it's been so quiet. But it was fine. Just went through the most dangerous parts of Perth. <laughs> walking. Casey might have to check her pants after this one. Very safe. Uh, what did you think? Some of them's here? Happy and come quick here. I'm on Marasa Aman. I can't see that. Eh? Chugup? How did you enjoy the lights, huh? I thought it was a beautiful night when I walked. Yeah, good night. Mm. Need some help? Help to get up the hill? Yeah. You what about you? Push. Both make it. It's a race. Uh, two people with dodgy knees. Me and you. Okay. Uh, pretty sore, but just put up with it. Dexter gave me a good injury at basketball today. So... That's it. We're going to... We saw probably half of them on the short route, so we're going to go see the rest of them in the car and down to the key, Elizabeth Key. Hey, I don't want to stop. You want the night to keep going? Yeah? Maybe check out uh, Kings Park as well. So.
Here we are. Those are the lights. The trees of Kings Park. Okay, so this is Kings Park. Just overlooking the city behind me here. And these guys have just dropped me off because there's no spots on the road for parking. So yeah, 